River of Life Church, we are days away from one of the most significant leadership transitions that River of Life will experience. We're all stepping up and we're all stepping into the next generation. And the eldership team is modeling this. Stepping up and off is Roy Chimanikire, formerly off the eldership team now and into a finance portfolio with others, Simba, Goto, Calvin, Chamunorwa, Lloyd, Mlochwa, looking at where our finances are going to go into the future. Gus Halley, similarly, off the eldership team, up into responsibility with the base church in Bulawayo and all that they're connected with. Stu Knight, having served for years off the eldership team, up into responsibility with Andrew Ellis and the Christian Counseling Center. Derek Landman, off the eldership team and now connecting with Margaret and serving churches across the DNA sphere with courses, marriage course, parenting course, network course, etc. Scott Smith as well, having served for so many years, now off the eldership team and into help serving Hope City Church in Bulawayo. What an example! This is stepping up. The older generation intentionally making space for the younger generation, but themselves moving into more. It's not that the older generation's got nothing to do. There's more to do as we create space for those coming behind us. Those staying on also step up. Barry Rawlings, Jacob Ngandu, Mus Maramwidze, Andrew Ellis, Dave Hobbs, Scott Marks all continue on the eldership team and Jacob may or may not come off in nine months time. He was going to be a transition guy, but many have said, let him stay on, let him stay on. So certainly for now, Jacob remains on the team. He's taking responsibility in Bulawayo as well with new creation and their plant into Rwanda and everyone on this team staying on, stepping up into new responsibilities. Awesome to see Barry Rawlings exploring some new opportunities and uh, so much happening in the comms section with Dave Hobbs. Lots happening with those stepping up and carrying on. And then the big news, the guys stepping up and on, bringing a whole new generation, a whole new demographic. That's Calvin Chamunorwa, Kumbi Liwayo, Danny Hillman, Danny Halley, Leon Radameya, Unity Sake and Blessing Wazara. Outstanding men absolutely exemplary in the reports that have come through from the church and exemplary in those reports from outsiders that I've intentionally got hold of. And I just want to highlight as we land here that we're not only stepping up with all of these guys taking responsibility, but we're stepping into a new generation. Perhaps the one query that has come through is, are these guys not too young? And what about these two guys that are unmarried? And the reality is, that Timothy was single, Titus was discipled by Paul, single, Paul probably single. Many of the early church elders were single. Those apostles laying hands on elders in every town and city, single, Timothy and Titus. And Timothy was told, do not let anyone look down upon your youth, but set an example for them in love, in speech, in conduct, in faith, in purity. And so what we're looking for in elders is more the character of an elder, as the Bible lays out, than the age per se. And certainly the original translation, translation husband of but one wife, one or less. It's valid to be an elder as a single person. And we need to, as Africa moves, move into this next generation and see the younger, dynamic generation reach the 50% of the population that's going to be under the age of 18, 19 years old very soon. And that's not seeing the older guys, men and women, abandoning them. No, everybody hands on deck, facilitating, encouraging, championing, just as a father and mother would delight in seeing their own children move into their 20s and move with purpose into the future. So I want to encourage you, be with us on the 12th of February. Dave and Liz Holden are going to be laying hands on those stepping up and off and those stepping up and on and a whole new eldership team will take us forward. I will continue to lead that team, but I look forward to the day that I will be transitioning. The lead eldership of this church will continue to seek God for his steps every part of this journey. God bless you. See you Sunday the 12th.